I'm on my way to the beach, where a mate of mine has told me there's a highly venomous sea snake washed up. I like your grandma uh, steering wheel cover. Sea snakes coming on land is a fairly unusual occurrence. It's usually an indication that the animal is sick or injured. In this instance, it's just a young one that has been washed up and is exhausted. It doesn't take long to find my mate Russell. Arthur, you big boy! Russell is a great wildlife photographer and naturalist. So somewhere nearby. He found the snake at low tide while taking photos of shorebirds. Sea snakes are highly venomous and a little bit out of his scope. Oh wow, look at that! Okay, so this is a little sea snake Russell's found. Okay. And they've got the whole narrow body, elongated body for swimming. And the paddle tail for locomotion underwater. This guy's been washed up in the surf and he's struggling so what we're gonna do we're just gonna put him in a bucket of water and wait till the morning and um, release him when the surf's nice and flat and after he's had a bit of a rest and recuperation Clearly exhausted. Um, we've, we've tried moving him back in the surf and he just keeps getting washed back up. The snake is given the bit of time it needs to recover from its ordeal and swim off the next day. While filming, not absolutely everything goes according to plan. <laughs> Arthur, come! Friends, nasty and great breed, but they're a stubborn dog. This is my co-star Arthur. He likes to ruin my shots. Do it, Dad! Yeah. Do it, Dad! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, you're hilarious. So I wouldn't let my dog just wander around in a creek like this. I've checked the whole thing for crocodiles before my dog got anywhere near it or I got anywhere near it. We are in crop country, you've got to be very careful. It is crocodile time of year. It's also stinger time of year. So I've checked out the whole thing and it's quite shallow here and it's even more shallow there. 
and it's even more shallow ocean side so I'd see a crocodile well before it got anywhere close to us but <laughs> come here come on yes and this is Arthur my big lump of a French Mastiff so for today no crocodiles in this stretch of creek otherwise I wouldn't be going this close to it all right so the tide's up, ready to carry it back out. We're gonna let this sea snake go. This is Hydrophus elegans. So juvenile, absolutely beautiful specimen. I'm going to bathe it in this freshwater creek just to make sure it's completely hydrated before we release it into the ocean. A bit of fresh water does not harm sea snakes. So I'm wearing dive gloves just because Come on, mate. Just in case he does bite, they're incredibly venomous. He's so small though that he ain't gonna get through these gloves. The venom in their bite is said to be as toxic as an Indian cobra. Well, you can see, that's the paddle tail they use for locomotion. That's a good sign, go a good fighting spirit. Sea snakes are different to the sea crates of Southeast Asia as they uh, never come on land unless they're in distress. So when we saw him washed up, we knew there was a bit of a problem, probably just caught in the low tide. So we're releasing him on an outgoing high tide. Tiny little thing, oh, see? That's why I'm wearing gloves. He's just had, had a go, he's trying to bite. It's um, he's that small, he'd have tiny fangs at the moment. Look at how, how much more at home he is now you put him in the water. He's just clinging onto my hand like it's a bit of coral reef. And he'll be having a nice drink right now. So he'll be going back out to the Great Barrier Reef to feed on little fish. And hopefully grows up to be a big sea snake one day. Just see how clumsy they are once they get on land. Anyway, let's go release this sea snake. I'm putting on a stinger suit. Well, just halfway, I'm not going far out. Because this time of year, there's box jellyfish which are deadly, and you're a kanji, which will at the very least give you a very bad day, incredibly painful sting. You'll go to hospital. We're just past the top of the tide, and the outgoing tide should drag him back out, out to the reef. It's a beautiful flat morning, so you shouldn't have any trouble swimming out deeper. All right, buddy, this is the last time I'll annoy you. Sea snakes are a lapidae, just like our venomous land snakes in Australia, like taipans, tiger snakes, brown snakes, and also the cobras. All right, time to go release him. Despite having only one functioning lung, Sea snakes can actually breathe through their skin underwater. All right, mate. Off you go. Oh, look at that. Wrong way. Wrong way. This species of sea snake is known as the elegant sea snake, or Hydrophus elegans. This particular individual is a small juvenile. They can grow a lot larger than this, well over two meters. These snakes are found all over the north coast of Australia, 
as well as the top bit of the East Coast and the West Coast. There we go, finally swimming out to sea. What a great find! That's awesome!